welcome to my channel my name is diana and today i have such an amazing haul for you i have so many great reformation dress dupes and Cezanne sweater dupes it's insane even some reformation sweater dupes they are all from this brand called rehoas rehoas has so many great dupes of reformation dresses it's unbelievable they even have prints that have not seen duped before it's just so good so let's get started as always my measurements um links to specific items i've shown in this video and my sizing information is all li linked down below in the description box just hit more and i think you have to hit more again to see the whole description off with this cardigan i'm wearing it is such a good dupe of the sazan mia cardigan i think it's called it's even the same color. It's a super chunky knit. I'm loving the sleeve details, how it's like kind of a roughly right here. And then it's got two button closures over here. And um, it's got four or five buttons to close down here. So you can wear it closed as like a sweater or a cardigan open like this, like this off the shoulder. I absolutely love this. It's such a nice, thick material. This will keep you warm. This cardigan is such a great spring item for those chilly days or nights to keep you kind of warm. And if you want to wear a dress with it or just a tank top, it's such a great find from Rehoas. I have, this haul has so many great dresses from Rehoas that's going to go so well with this cardigan, but I 100% recommend this. I bought this in a medium thinking I wanted it oversized, but um, it's already pretty oversized. I think I could have gone with a small. So if you're any smaller than me I would stick to the small or your normal size for that slightly oversized look so this is really oversized on me because it's uh, a medium so I sized up I really didn't need to it's already pre oversized I think we're so used to sizing up in sweaters from brands like Shein that um, it's kind of odd when things are correctly sized and already made oversized. She intends to make all their sweaters really small for some reason. And honestly, if you compare this to Shein quality, this is like so much better. It's so much thicker than some of the Shein sweaters I got. This will definitely keep you a lot warmer. If you saw my Shein winter or fall hauls, there's full, they're full of sweaters, but none are as thick as this one. This is such a great dupe of the Cezanne's Mia sweater. If you've seen my Cezanne haul, you know their sweaters range from like 150 and up. And so this is such an affordable uh, price point if you're looking for that kind of shape and size and shape and style, I mean. Next is this red maxi dress from Rehoas. It is absolutely stunning. I love this color. The material feels really soft and very breathable, I would say. So I think this would be a great summer dress. And the best part is that it is open back with these ties. When I saw this on the model, I was like, oh, I had to get this. It's got little cups right here. This is a little bit big. I think uh, they ran out of the extra small, so I got an extra small. So it is a little bit bigger in the bust for me. Um, I do wish the sleeves are a little bit puffier. And I also wish it was a little bit longer. This hits me right at the ankle. I wish it was maybe like another inch longer so it would be more of a true maxi dress. But if you're on the shorter side, this is going to be great for you because it won't be too overwhelming and it won't be too long for you because I'm 5'4 five, five, and this just hits my ankle. Partially lined down to the knee, but with this color, I don't think you have to worry about it. It's pretty dark. And it is double lined on top too, so this is definitely not see-through, especially since it's red. And I think it would actually look cute like off the shoulder like this if I tied it tighter in the back so that it would stay up versus having the sleeves be poofy. So really cute summer option, spring summer uh, maxi dress option. Like I said, I love a good red dress, especially for photos. If you're going to the beach or going somewhere foresty over the summer or for spring break this would be a great option because it's really going to pop in your pictures because it's red if you're going to the ocean or the beach it's going to be blue background beautiful red dress and then there's palm trees you're gonna have a beautiful green background and red dress so you'll always stand out in your instagram photos so i definitely highly recommend this red dress from rehoas next i have a side-by-side -side comparison of a 
Rihoa's Reformation dress dupe and the actual Reformation dress. So every time I post on my Instagram wearing this dress or on YouTube, everybody's always asking me where it's from. This is a Reformation dress. It's an older one. They've updated the silhouette a little bit. They got rid of all the ruffles here. They got rid of the ruffles on the bottom, but there's still some self-tie straps. It has the zipper on the back and again, the smocking. So... Rihoas has made this dress, which is so similar to the Reformation one, but it's a uh, it's an it's a uh, dupe of the updated version, which doesn't have that ruffle on the chest and on the edge of the skirt. But again, self tie straps, beautiful uh, bustier cups, and again, zipper and smocking on the back to fit you better. But um, yes, Reformation dresses run from like, I think 150 to two, through sometimes $300. I think that dress I was just holding up was like 200 bucks. This is a fraction of the price and it is such a good dupe. This dress is so cute. I love the print. This is also an updated uh, print from Reformation. So that Reformation has a print very, very similar to this right now. Um, my print, the one on my dress is an older one. So like if I had known that they re known about Riojas when I bought that dress, I would never have spent that much money on it. But yes, this dress is so cute. It, I love the print. It's perfect for spring. This is such a beautiful spring dress. It is lined as you can see here and in the front. Uh, I believe the back is, the smocking is not lined, but this whole dress is lined throughout. I just love it. It looks so cute. It fits so well. I would not even buy the Reformation dress at this point. I haven't shopped at Reformation in a long time and I used to be a super loyal customer, but there's so many great options now. I think the only difference is the material. Their dresses are made out of viscous and this is polyester. But honestly, the viscous, which I used to think was great because it's so breathable. It does wrinkle really easily and you have to iron it really, really well. And yeah, it just wrinkles. And I've heard their quality has gone down and is no longer justifiable for their price. And I've also heard people criticize the whole smocked back thing on TikTok, that if you're gonna spend $200 on a dress, it shouldn't have a smocked back and it should fit you, which I kind of agree with. So why not get this inspired by Reformation dress for a fraction of the cost that looks just like it. I actually think this material is pretty good. It does seem pretty breathable and because it's like a short dress, I don't think it'll hold in that much heat because there's so much space, you know, that's exposed skin that's not gonna like hold in that much heat. I have worn different polyester fabrics in the summertime in, in the Washington DC area. I've not had a problem. Um, you might have a problem in areas that are even more humid, maybe in Asia, but honestly, I think it is worth it to just get this dress versus the uh, Reformation dress. I did want to mention that the Rihoa's version of the Reformation dress uh, does run a little bit bigger than a size 2 in Reformation. The dress that I'm showing you, uh, let me grab it, <laughs> this one actually is a size 2. I usually wear a 0 or a 2 in Reformation, more toward the 0. So the 0 will be really nice fitted, give me that really snatched waist. The 2 will be a little looser, so this is a little bit looser. And this is very slightly looser than the Reformation 2. So, and I got this, I believe, in a size small. I'll I'll have the size and the link in the description box down below. But I think it still fits pretty well. I mean, overall, you may not want your dresses to be too tight. Well, if your measurements are a little bit bigger than mine, this would be perfect for you. If you're on the bustier side than I am. But I might just have this taken in a little bit at the waist because it does have these darts on the side, I mean, on the front and the back, which kind of shape the waist. I can really easily just kind of take it in myself. I don't even need anybody telling me to do that. And so I really do love this version. It is really flowy. I love the fabric. It's so like soft. And I also love these super long straps. That's one thing about the Reformation dress. The straps are really short. I didn't like that, but I love these long straps on here. They really did make it extra long and it's really pretty. Next up, I have the item I was most excited to receive in this haul from Rihoas. This dress is a, such a good dupe of the ever popular Reformation Juliet dress, which I also have and I love. I, that dress I have in an actual zero and it fits amazing. 
every time again every time i wear it people are like where did you get it from and this is such a great dupe i have always wanted this print i've never seen anybody really knock off this print or dupe this print from reformation this blue kind of like animal print but it's not quite an animal print uh i just am stunned at how beautiful it is again it has the smocks back smocks back zipper closure it has the little strings the little tiny super skinny string straps just like the reformation dress and again bustier cups it is a midi length um it's got seam bust seams on the front or what are they called i think they're called like princess seams down here to give you that waist so it's not just straight up and down but yeah this is like such a great dupe it's also lined um, throughout I believe the skirt is all the way lined too. Yep. The skirt is all the way lined. It's absolutely gorgeous um, And I'm gonna go grab my reformation version of the dress so you can see it next to each other So as you can see here, this is my reformation Juliet dress. It's still on their website. It's super popular um, They've had it for a while now it comes in a bunch of different prints and here is the Rehoa's version so cute so pretty looks very similar i think the major difference is again the fabric the fabric on the uh reformation dress is viscous and this is polyester honestly the construction is i mean i don't see any flaws in the construction on this one they are very similar i've heard reformation has gone down in their quality so i don't know i still like this dress retails for, I think, like $250, and it has loose threads on the inside. So honestly, I don't know how great of a, <laughs> a um, reputation Reformation has for construction anymore. And to tell you the truth, I bought this dress twice. I bought it from Nordstrom, and then I also bought it from Reformation um because i didn't know what size it was i was so it was either a size two or a size zero i ended up keeping the zero but let me tell you the lining of the other one that i had bought it was not lined up with the outside fabric it didn't line up so for a 250 dollars dress you would expect this the, the sewing to be quality to be flawless but yeah it didn't line up at all it was like all kinds of crooked so they have some quality control issues too. So if you love Reformation and you want something more affordable, you love how their dresses look, I highly recommend checking out Rehoas. They have so many great versions, so many great dresses that are so similar to Reformation. You probably won't even be able to tell the difference when you're wearing them. And here is the dress on. It looks absolutely amazing. It fits so well. It's a little bit tighter on the hips and a little bit loose around the waist on me. But again, my hip to uh, waist ratio is a little bit big. I have a 36 inch hip and a 25 inch waist. So things tend to be always looser on the waist and tighter in the hip area. But otherwise it looks amazing on me. I absolutely love this dress. It's gonna be so cute. It has a nice slit down here and it's definitely a great midi length, perfect for summer. I cannot wait to wear this. Next, I have this sweater from Rehoas, and it is amazing. I have to say, this is so similar to this. I think it was a over hundred dollar sweater from Dish that was that had gone viral for the fall on TikTok, and it's also very similar to a Reformation striped sweater I've seen in this like kind of polo shape with the V polo neckline and these exact same stripes and kind of a beige it's kind of a beige and black stripe which i love such a moment such a vibe it's got that coastal grandmother you know northeast coastal aesthetic going on you need one of these sweaters i got this in a large i believe because i wanted it to be oversized if you want it to be more fitted i would size down i mean i would get your regular size i was just looking at the model and it looked like it fit a uh, size small fit her perfectly so i think the size small will fit me perfectly but i wanted it to be slightly slouchier slightly oversized it's this is 100% cotton and it's such a great value, honestly. I absolutely love this sweater. We're going to Florida for spring break and I cannot wait to wear this along the coast. It's just going to be that perfect layering piece when it's kind of chilly out but not super, super cold and you need an extra layer that's going to be breathable because it is cotton so it's very breathable. I can't wait to wear this. I 100% recommend this sweater. It's just so cute i love these ribbed cuffs here and it's also got a ribbed edge on the bottom 
it fits so well and it's so cozy. I 100% recommend you get this sweater. It's going to be totally worth it. Next I picked up, I also picked up this blue little stretchy tank top because I really wanted the a tank top. Honestly, I really wanted a rib tank top because these used to be really popular in Y2K when I was in my 20s, like 20 years ago. And I still have some of mine, but a lot of them have worn out because they're so old. I mean, they're 20 years old. So this really is similar, I think, to the Aritzia Babaton tank tops, so the sculpting tanks. It has a very similar feel with the rib material. It's got kind of a silky feel to it. I think this is polyester. Yeah, it's part polyester, part viscous. It feels like viscous. So this is going to be nice and breathable. What I really like about this is the back strap detail. It looks really cool. I really like that it's got this like extra little bit right there. And it's a super deep V, which I like. And it is a full length tank top. If any of you guys are tired of, you know, crop tanks, crop tops in general, because I think that's all they've been selling for the past five years or like half of a shirt. This is a full length top so you don't have to worry about your stomach showing if you happen to be wearing low rise pants which are also coming back. So I really like this. I think it's super cute. I love the color too. So here is the top on. I absolutely love this. I love this material. It fits so well. Um, it looks so cute. It totally reminds me of my uh, old Y2K tops. I love this big deep V neckline. I know like crew necks are kind of in right now, but if you have broad shoulders like me, the deep V neck like like this is so flattering on you. It will look so good on you. This totally looks like one of the tops I had 20 years ago, but the material is better. I think the top I had was made out of cotton and this definitely has that silky feel because it's out of viscous. The viscous wasn't really that popular 20 years ago, so it's kind of a newer material. And of course, I love the back detail. This is so cute. It hits about mid hip on me and just a little bit like my belly button's here. So it's about three inches past my belly button. So again, this is gonna be one of those shirts that are going to be full coverage down here. So if you happen to have low rise pants, here I'll show you. These are like my regular high waisted shorts, but we can make them low rise <laughs> like this. They're below your belly button. Your stomach is still gonna be covered and it's gonna be like this. <laughs> so I think lots of people, lots of retailers are making longer tops now because we are seeing a resurgence in low rise pants and not everybody wants their midriff showing like in Y2K. So crochet is going to be big this spring and summer. So I saw this dress on Rehoma's website and I instantly fell in love, but I feel like they sent me the wrong one. I'm not sure, it's marked a size small, but it is humongous. Look at all this space. Uh, I don't know if anybody can wear this. Like it fits around my hips and it's almost to my knees, which is perfectly fine. But this part is just so big. There's just so much space. There's like no way I could wear this out. I might be able to wear it as a bikini cover. It is actually completely see-through too, so it's not lined, so it'd be a great bikini cover if it fit. And I think I was gonna, that was the way I was intending to wear it for spring break. But yeah, look how cute it is if I could just make this tighter. Like, yeah, see, look how cute this is. It would be so cute. If you've been hiding under a rock, you know that crochet, if, you know that crochet has come back in full force. Uh, it was super hot last year. I think it's going to be super hot again this year. And that's why I got this dress. And while I love it, the size is just not right. I, <laughs> like, yeah, look how cute it is if I just made it smaller. So I don't know. Maybe I got a defective one. But if it fit, this would have been a 10 out of 10. I love the length of it. The material is great. It's the actual cotton kind of like material for crochet. So yeah, I'm really sad because this is this is going to be one of my spring break swim cover up dresses that I was really looking forward to wearing. And that is it for this Rihoa spring haul. I hope you enjoyed watching all the items I have shared are linked down below with the sizing and so are my measurements. Again, I honestly love this brand. I kind of love the items I shared today and I found, I can't believe I found so many great dupes of Reformation dresses and also like even this top that's an Aritzia dupe at such a great affordable price from this brand. I was kind of shocked. I wasn't expecting much when I got these items, but they have blown me away in terms of the shape, the fit, and how, you know, 
good they look compared to the actual name brand items that I've seen. If you like the spring haul, definitely check out this other spring haul from Yes Style. I have some great pieces in there and also some more Reformation dupes. Thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe. Bye!